Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K YouTube Live and today I'm going to show you how I made a card with another one of the new and upcoming items from the uh, Stampin' Up! online exclusives. This one is called Filled with Fun and it is it's a really fun little stamp set bundle. Um, it's got some cute dies with it and some cute images and some fun sentiments. So this is the card we're making today. It's actually a pretty quick and easy one. Um, just a little stamping, a little die cutting, a couple layers, and it's all done. Um, but yeah, just like I said, it's kind of a cute little uh, stamp set, kind of good one for spring and summer, uh, birthdays, and anything else you want to use it for. So hey, Sally and Pam and Carol and Karen, thanks for hopping on today. So this is the stamp set. Again, it's called Filled with Fun. And it's really cute. It's a photopolymer uh, stamp set, so it's easy to see through and stamp with. And uh, hey, Debbie and Robin, thanks for joining as well. Um, so the it's designed to, to make a little wagon, and then you can put little, there's a little thing, you can put some gifts in there, balloons in there. I did the flowers. There's a little banner you can put on it. And again, just kind of some fun sentiments that go with it. So um, again, this is from the online exclusives and will be available to order beginning on March 5th for everyone. It's available for the demonstrator pre-order starting now so um well actually started on the first but uh we can get it now so if you join as a demonstrator you can add this as part of your pre-order or as part of your starter kit or you can order your starter kit and then um order this pre-order once you join so hey bonnie and uh, roxanne thanks for joining so this is the coordinating die set um this one actually cuts out the wagon the stamped wagon you can also cut a wagon with a little railing without stamping it so however you want to use it is up to you um, this one cuts out little banners a little banner if you want to do that and then these two larger open images cut out the stamped flowers and gifts there are um, dies that cut out balloons dies that cut out tires this one actually cuts out the um, handle of the wagon um, this one will cut out the center of the tires if you want that there's a little balloon string this one cuts out the stamped banner so it's a cute little stamp and die set again it'll be available uh, starting on the fifth of March. So there you go. A um, couple other things that I used on this are the um, this die in particular. That's a little sun that I cut in the background here. Um, this is from the Hey Chuck stamp set bundle, which is in the annual catalog. And then I also used this from the mini catalog. This is part of the Sending Love die, so you may recognize the mailbox from there. But the die that I actually used is the little one that cuts the edge of the grass. So, and I'll show you how I did that um, to make the little sentiment back here. So, um, oh, definitely hearts in a, in a wagon would make a cute Valentine for sure. So it's a really cute little set, and you could put really anything in the back of it, you know. Think of Halloween and do pumpkins in the back of it or something. So you can do all sorts of things. All right, a couple things before we get going. I am doing my uh, Stuck on You Valentine ordering bonus where you get to pick a free adhesive with your order of $50 or greater uh, when you place it through my online store uh, anytime between now and the end of Valentine's Day, so through the um, February 14th. Um, if you place an order with me, you get to pick an extra little bonus gift. So in addition to the $10 thank you gift you normally get from me, you also get to pick a free adhesive, and you're going to get a free celebration item from Stampin' Up! So yay, lots of free things if you order $50 or greater through me um, before the uh, end of uh, before the end of Valentine's Day. So all right, um, online exclusives, make sure you're taking a peek. There are um, some older online exclusives that are currently available. And again, there'll be new ones that'll be starting on the 5th of March. So make sure you're taking a peek anytime you put in an order at what's available in the online exclusives. Those items will kind of come and go. And um, so it may be there today, but not tomorrow. So if there's something you want, make sure you get it added to your order soon. All right. Um, hey, Susan, thanks for joining, and Kathy as well. And um, yeah, so thanks everybody for hopping in. Okay, to get started on this, we're actually going to stamp the sentiment first. And I have got a piece of Parakeet Party cardstock and got some black embossing powder and the sentiment from the Filled with Fun stamp set bundle. Um, Versamark ink. Right now, the um, basics embossing, well, actually, all the embossing powders, I think, for whatever reason, are not available in the online store. We've been told they're going to come back um, repackaged in some way in, uh, with the new annual catalog. So I don't know what's going on with them. But for right now, um, hopefully, you've got some embossing powder. If not, um, hopefully, you can find some if you need it between here and when the new catalog starts. So got Versamark ink. This is a piece of... Um, 
uh, parakeet party cardstock. And right now it's cut to about four inches by probably, I don't know, two inches ish. Um, it's not a real specific um, size on the height of it because I'm going to be cutting it down with a die anyway. So what I'm trying to do is just get it roughly centered, the sentiment centered and down towards the bottom. Then I'm going to grab my, oh, wow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! I have the dog even jumped with that one. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so black embossing powder, um, and I'll try not to drop anything else today. Although I make no guarantees, I'm telling you. Yikes! So okay, black embossing powder, and gonna tap off. Hopefully, most of the extra here. There we go, and. Put the lid on that before we start any heat embossing. Um, so hopefully I don't make a big mess with it. And just wiping off a few of the little extra flecks of embossing powder that are floating around here on my cardstock. Trying to make sure that I don't have a ton of little extra um, bits and pieces on there that I don't necessarily want. So there's Stampin' Up! Heat Tool. It's got two settings on it. There's a level one setting for drying. So if you're doing something like um, watercoloring and you need it to speed up the process a little bit, you can do that or the level two setting for uh, heat embossing, which is what we're gonna do today. It does take just a second for the tool to heat up. So that's why I'm just yucking with the heat tool pointed off into space, um, heating itself up a little bit before I turn it towards the project to start heat embossing. So I'm gonna do that, turn it over here. Hopefully it'll start turning that shiny uh, black so you can see it. When it's done, um, it turns kind of a shiny, yeah, like I said, a shiny, nice black when you're embossing. And you want to kind of keep the heat tool moving a little bit um, when you're embossing so you don't burn your embossing powder. All right, there we go. So, all right, so we're all done with that. I'm giving it just a second to cool off here, uh, waving it uh, before I do the die cutting because I don't want to smear the embossing powder. So then I'm just going to grab my little die here that I've got um, from the, the Sending uh, Love dies. And I'm just going to take this and just place it over the top of the, the words here. Again, there's no specific measurement on it. I just wanted it tall enough to um, so that the words would show on the bottom. That's all that really mattered. And then we're just going to run this through the die cutting machine. So I'll be right back. Hopefully y'all are enjoying your day. We've got a snowy day here in uh, New Jersey. We're snowed, well, they had a school, a snow day for school, and my husband's working from home, so, you know, everybody's at the house today. So, as usual, a little crazy around here. Um, so, one thing that I did notice with this die is it does leave a little bit of a line here, which you probably can't see in the video, but I can see it here, where the, um, the bottom of the die runs across the cardstock when you run it through the die cutting machine. So there's a little bit of a crease there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and take my bone folder and just run it right along the back here. So if you get that crease and you don't like the way it looks, you can just take your bone folder and do what I'm doing, rub it across the back, and then that gets rid of the little crease in your cardstock. And nobody knows that it was there but you and me. So, all right, so I've got another piece of cardstock. This is gar not garden green, granny apple green. And um, I cut this uh, ahead of time, and it's a little smaller. Again, the size on this one doesn't matter at all because nobody's going to see it. The only thing they're going to see is a little peak of the uh, grass poking up along the top there. So, um, Hey, Linda, thanks for hopping in. Oh, God, that helped, Bonnie. So, yep, I'm going to take a little stamp and seal, and we're going to run it on the green apple green die cut piece here. And then I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to line up these two pieces so that they're slightly offset. So there's, again, not like any special way to do this. I just kind of wanted it so that there was a little, little peak of the Granny apple green grass on the background of the um, behind the parakeet party as well. So now, hey Drew, thanks for joining, and hey Daryl, glad you're uh, hopping back in or hopping in. Yes, and the little wagon set is really really cute. So you had a yellow. Oh, we never had anything that nice. Ours was just the standard issue red wooden one. <laughs> so 
All right, now I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna adhere it on the bottom of a piece of Sunny Days uh, designer series paper. This is one of the celebration items. So this is one of the items that you can get for free uh, with an order of $50 or greater. And again, it's a great pack of paper. So definitely one that you're gonna want. And I'm just gonna take a little stamp and seal and we're gonna put it on the back here. And as you probably noticed, the um, die cut pieces don't line up very nicely yet, but we're gonna trim the edges even with the designer series paper. And I did that kind of intentionally. Um, I shouldn't say I made them uneven intentionally, but I did not trim them to an exact size intentionally because with the way I was putting this together, I wanted to be able to slide the little um, grass piece on the background around a little bit. So I didn't want it to be cut off on one edge too short. So I made it a little long intentionally um, so that I could stick it here on the, the um, card front and then trim away any excess, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So, all right, so sticking this on with some stamp and seal and I'm lining it up at the bottom because that's what's important on this one. And then I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm just gonna take, if you have paper trimmer handy, you can do that, which I intended to get my trimmer out, but I did, I forgot. So we're just gonna take our snips and trim it down here. Same thing on this side, just gonna take the paper snips and trim it right along the edge of the designer series paper. And there we go, we flip it over and then nobody knows that it was all messy except you and me. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, you had an evening evergreen wagon? See, I didn't realize they came in all those colors. Ours, like I said, I've only ever really seen the red ones. <laughs> so I was assuming that was all they did. So, all right. Well, I can't wait to see your evergreen and, um, you know, lemon lolly or whatever color yellow you had, Daryl. I can't wait to see your wagons in those colors. Um, so I've got a piece of pool party cardstock. This is cut to about four inches by five and a quarter. All the measurements will be on my blog tomorrow. So don't worry about trying to keep up with what I'm saying because half the time I say the wrong sizes anyway. Um, so it'll be on my blog. They'll, they should be correct out there. There'll be a printable PDF tutorial and all that good stuff as well. Um, so you'll be able to see all the information you need about it. So, all right, just sticking that together with some stamp and seal. And then we are gonna grab a sweet sorbet card base. So my original one was a top fold. So um, that's kind of the, the fold that I prefer for my cards, but I know a lot of you like the side fold cards. So I just like to show you that you can do it either way, whichever way you prefer. If you like the side fold cards, most of my card um, projects work well with either a side fold or a top fold. So this piece of cardstock is cut to five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter in the middle. And um, my original one was cut to four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half across the top. So um, Kathy says she's only seen the red wagons. So I know I have two. I thought I didn't even realize that other color wagons were a thing. Although I think maybe we had a blue one, but it wasn't like the the that brand it was you know just some generic wagon that i think my parents got so all right um let me stick this on the card front here again just using a few stampin dimensionals on the back and then we're gonna do a little stamping so i've got a piece of basic white cardstock and we are going to be stamping and i'll try not to drop it again and, and hopefully not break your ears uh, stamping a couple images in tuxedo black memento ink so i've got that um, ink pad here and we're going to ink up the flower image which this is a cute little set of flowers and the flowers do have a die um, that I'll show you in just one second I think we'll go ahead and tilt that like that and stick the flowers right over here on the edge so all right and then I'm going to ink up the little wheels for the wagon do two of those because we got I've got black ink on my finger already I felt my finger stick in it and I went, oh well, <laughs> too late. All right. And there are two wheel dies in this um, die set, which is actually nice because, you know, typically your wagon has two wheels, so you're not normally going to be stamping just one. And I apologize, I'm still getting over this creeping crud, whatever it was my daughter brought home. I, it is just hanging on and it does not want to go away, so I'm still having to kind of blow my nose and cough a little and ugh. so I'm about sick of being sick that is for sure so all right now I'm inking up this is the little handle for the wagon and again they're all all the images are in the filled with love stamp set and whoop, that didn't stamp very nicely I got I, there was a little spot that I didn't get inked very well it looked like so we'll stamp it again this is gray granite ink that I am uh, stamping the little that one's much better stamping the little wagon handle in and then the final stamped image is the actual wagon itself. And we're gonna do that in sweet sorbet. So 
um, do you cut everything out so you can see how to use it? Um, usually I don't, Karen. Um, it depends though. I mean, I'm not gonna say I've never done it, but usually no, I just kind of look at the samples in the catalog and go from there. If I have questions about anything, then I will cut it out, but usually, usually I don't because I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> so again, unless it's something where it's like a 3D box or something that seems to be a little difficult and I can't figure out exactly how it goes together, most of the stuff I don't, so, all right. Oh, thanks, Karen. I'm glad I'm sounding a little better. Like I said, I'm still, the coughing, I should be knocking on wood. Um, coughing is better, I will say that. I'm not coughing as much as I was, um, but still, ugh, yucky. All right, so let's get out the dies. So we've got this little wagon die that will cut this image. And actually, let me color, color these before I cut them. Actually, no, I'm gonna cut them first since I have the dies out already. And then this one cuts the flower. And as you'll see, there's a little extra piece down here, which um, I'll show you when I die cut it, but that makes it easier to glue on the back of your little wagon. And then we've got our two wheels and the little wagon handle. So I'm gonna go run this through the die cutting machine. It may take me a couple of passes just because there are kind of a lot of dies on here and sometimes they don't all sit still and cut nicely if I try to run too many through at once. So hang on. We got the flowers and the wheels and the little wagon handle. So like I said, with the, the flowers, you can see it puts a little extra white space down here at the bottom. So um, it makes it easier for sticking as well as on the, I forgot that it did it also on the little handle. So um, that one does as well. Let me get the wagon cut. I think we got all those little pieces done. So um, let's see. New Jersey last week, pet sitting. Yeah, I'm glad you got a good week too because yeah, this week it's not quite as nice weather-wise. <laughs> the dog is going out, but only when we absolutely make her do it. And she's like, I'm going out and I'm coming right back in and I'm there's no messing around out here today. <laughs> so yes, you definitely got a much better week last week than you did this week. So, all right. Let's do a little color in here on the wheels. I've got light and dark gray granite Stampin' Blends markers. So it, it is a really cute little set. I think you're gonna love it. And I think everybody should get it because it's, it's just too fun. <laughs> so I'm um, started with the light uh, gray granite and I'm just gonna put a little kind of almost U-shaped here in dark gray granite. And you probably can't really even see it. I can see it a little bit here when I'm doing my coloring, but it's not something that really stands out a lot. Um, but I still like to add a little bit of shading even when I'm doing something like this. So I've got light sweet sorbet Stampin' Blends marker. And as I'm coloring this, I should remind you that the in colors, the 22 to 24 Stampin' Up! in colors, <coughs> which are sweet sorbet, um, orchid oasis, uh, I'm probably not going to remember, parakeet party. Um, oh, there are two others. Uh, golly, that's terrible that I can't remember them off the top of my head. Um, anyway, the 22 to 24 in colors will all be retiring at the end of this catalog, which the catalog ends a little early this year. Um, so it's ending uh, at the end of April. So celebration is a really good time to stock up on those retiring in colors so that you know you'll be able to get them because once the retiring list gets announced, even though we know those colors are all retiring, um, they become available only while supplies last. So things like ink refills often sell out quickly, cardstock, 
um, markers, those types of things. So make sure you're getting all those ordered during celebration uh, so you can get a little bonus from Stampin' Up. Um, get your free gift from them, and you also get stocked up on those colors that are getting ready to retire. So I am using light and dark lemon lolly to color the centers on the flowers. And then I've got parakeet party light and dark that we're going to be coloring in the little um, flower petal or flower petals, leaves and stems is what I meant to say. So, and this one is really, it's pretty quick and easy to color because, yeah, it's just little flowers. Um, you can color the flowers in if you want to. I kind of thought they looked cute, looking like little daisies is what they reminded me of. So that is why I just left them with white instead of coloring in the flowers. But you could certainly pick whatever color is your favorite for flowers and color those in. So Tahitian Tide, you're right, and Starry Sky. I knew, yes, thank you for coming to the rescue. I knew you all would know. And I should know them off the top of my head, but I was clearly ill-prepared when I started talking, just started yakking, and I was like, oh, I can't remember the colors. <laughs> so it happens, then I get, I don't know, too many colors in my head, and then I can't remember what's what. So, and now I'm coming back in with just a little bit, a tiny little bit of dark uh, parakeet party and just putting it in a couple places around um, the um, leaves and stems, and that's it for the coloring. So, all right, now I'm gonna assemble the little wagon and we're gonna use liquid glue and hold your breath because you all know how much I dislike liquid glue. Um, a little tiny bit is really all that you need on this because if you put too much on, um, like I might have done when I've tried this the first time, you'll end up with liquid glue kind of squitching out everywhere and that's not really the look that you're looking for, at least it wasn't for me. So make sure you go really light handed on it and we've got the wagon and flowers stuck together. Now I'm gonna take my little wheels. And again, this is something where I'm just putting a little tiny bit of liquid glue right up at the top of the wheel wells. And I'm going to stick on my little wheels um, with the liquid glue on the wheels. I didn't intentionally, I intentionally didn't put a lot of liquid glue on them because I knew I was gonna be sticking this to the card front with Stampin' Dimensionals. So I did not wanna have a glue accident and have glue end up everywhere and stuck to everything. Um, the dimensionals will also help hold everything together um, once I go to assemble it. So, all right. Actually, I probably need to flip that right side up, don't I? So putting a little dot of liquid glue here on, there we go, on the wagon handle. Again, on the, the part that is um, not stamped, but is the little like extra stem on it. And then we're just going to take that and we'll stick it kind of, I don't know, right about there. It looks good to me. And smoosh it together for just a second. So, okay, so I'm glad I was not the only kid who didn't have a special wagon. Mine was really boring. <laughs> just red. So, all right. I've uh, got that all stuck together. Where There are my dimensionals. So I'm going to grab, I chop up my dimensionals. Mine are all little half stampin' dimensionals. Um, if you like the whole ones, you certainly can use the whole ones, but I prefer the half size ones because I feel like they fit better in a lot of places. And I'm just making sure that I'm kind of strategically putting the stampin' dimensionals in places where I know that I'm going to have, potentially the things could come apart. So I'm um, going to stick a couple here along the center where the flowers and the wagon meet. And then a couple more up here near the top. And then I'm actually gonna take one and I'm gonna peel it off. So this is my little half dimensional and I'm actually gonna cut it in half again so that I can fit it on the little handle here because I wanna make sure that has a dimensional on it as well. All right, so we've got our wagon all assembled and our card front is almost done. Let me get my scissors off there before I rattle it around again. Um, ahead of time, I did die cut a sun from Lemon Lolly cardstock, and I had used one of the um, Hey Chuck dies. So this is the die that I used, just ran it through with Lemon Lolly cardstock. And I'm going to take the, the wagon. I'm not taking the backings off these just yet. I'm going to take the little wagon, and we're going to set it on here where I want the wagon to end up. And then I'm going to take my um, sun, and we are going to adhere that to the card front with a little stamp, a little bit of uh, stamp and seal. But I wanted to be able to kind of tuck it under where the wagon was gonna be, but I needed to know where my wagon was gonna land before I could stick the sun down. So there we go. So I've stuck that down. Now I'm gonna peel off the backing on all of these little dimensionals. Oh, thanks, Carol, I'm glad you're liking it. So it's a fun little stamp set for sure. All right, get this one peeled off. Almost forgot about the one on the handle. There we go. 
and just gonna take this and we will stick it again so that it is stuck over the spot that's um, covering the, the kind of the edge of the die cut on my son, trying to get it on here fairly straight and getting it to look like it's on the ground as well. So that was the other thing is I didn't want it floating in midair, so that is it. All right, last thing for the card front is I've got a couple of the 2022 to 2024 in color pearls. And again, these will be going away at the end of the uh, annual catalog, which ends at the end of April this year. So make sure you're getting all these things picked up, um, putting your orders now so you can get them before the retiring list comes out and they all go away forever. So, all right, added a couple of those here next to my sentiment. On the inside of the card, kept it pretty simple with that same flower image. We're going to stamp that in Tuxedo Black Memento ink on the bottom of the of a basic white cardstock panel. Um, again, this one's cut to about four by five and a quarter. All the measurements will be on my blog tomorrow, which is stampwithamyk.com. And I will link up to this um, the blog post to this video uh, in the description of it uh, once the blog post goes live around 8 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. All right, let me grab my Parakeet Party and Lemon Lolly Stampin' Blends markers. And we're just going to do a little coloring. Flower centers, again, just really quickly with the Lemon Lolly light. All right, and then come back in and put the little kind of U-shaped um, little image here with the, add a little bit of color to the, um, with the dark Lemon Lolly Stampin' Blends marker. It is really easy to make, Amanda. So it's, like I said, it's just a couple little die cuts and sticking things together. So the biggest thing that I'll tell you on the wagon is just to be careful not to overdo it on the glue. If you do that, you're gonna end up with something you probably, at least I was not very happy with it when there was glue kind of oozing out everywhere. So just, that's my only thing with it. Other than that, it's really quick and easy to put together. And if you're Really good at assembling things. You may not even necessarily need to put the liquid glue on it. You could probably stick it together with just dimensionals, but I found it more difficult to do that because I couldn't see it from the front side when I was trying to adhere the dimensionals. So, um, so to me, it was easier to glue it together, deal with the liquid glue, and then um, adhere it to the card front with stamping dimensionals. So, all right, just adding a little bit of dark Parakeet Party Stampin' Blends over the light. And then we're going to stick this on the inside of the card and we're going to be all done for today. So thanks so much to everybody for joining today. I appreciate you being here and um, I'll plan to be back around two o'clock Eastern time on Friday. Hopefully uh, no snow that day, but although it's been kind of fun having a snow day today, we haven't had too many of those in the last couple of years. So um, we've had a couple this year though. So, all right, sticking that on the inside of the card and then going to fold it closed do a crease with the bone folder and that is it so there we go card i made ahead card we made today um definitely definitely uh something that you need so daryl says can you tell me the name of the stamp set yes i can daryl it is called filled with fun and there is a coordinating die set Oop, there it is that goes with it it's bundled together these are going to be available again starting on march 5th for everyone to order demonstrators can pre-order them now so if you join now um, you can add them to your starter kit or you can pre-order them once you join. So let me know if you have questions about any of this. Again, I appreciate you all being here. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday and we'll plan to see you around two o'clock Eastern time on Friday. Talk to y'all soon.